here's another configuration on this um, motor that I'm studying. Um, I'm using ferrite cores that have the wire wound on one half of the ferrite. And this is uh, Ben's Thomas motor. And uh, if you take a look at his channel, yeah, you'll see what uh, is going on here. It's a um, interesting motor. Inside the toroid there, down inside there, is a magnet that lays up against the inside of that uh, ferrite core. But it's wound on this side. And what happens when the magnet, the electromagnet, fires, it uh, shifts the magnetic field in that and uh, makes it so the motor runs basically like a conventional pulse motor. But there's more torque with this. And I've got my uh, little friend there helping out. And this is the uh, power that's coming off of the um, inductive kickback from those ferrite cores. And they're, they're in series, uh, being operated by a um, reed switch and then the three volts. But the downside on this one is big power draw. This is uh, pulling out a lot of uh, energy out of the battery because there's not very many windings on those coils. So anyway, it's a, it's a give and take, but you do get the torque out of it, which is, uh, you know, what the most motors have is they use the uh, steel or, or um, iron cores in the windings or or however they want to do it, armatures, to get the torque. Because if you use an air cork coil like I've been showing, like these over here, they, they free spin, but there's not a lot of torque in it. The other thing I wanted to show was on this one here, the rotor ran in here, you notice the coils are wound like this. So as the magnet passes the coil, you're going to induce a current. And when the motor's not firing, you're generating a, a counter EMF, which is uh, working against the motor. On this one, the windings are like this. And the rotor is going by the windings like this. And it doesn't run like that unless you put the magnet in there, which probably defeats the whole purpose. I haven't done any uh, load testing on this to see what's really going on. But uh, you can see that it's spinning that ring magnet, and that's driving the load right there. And so um, this was just something that I wanted to share. Was uh, This is a Ben's Thomas motor. And it was something that I wanted to try today, and uh, it does work. It's basically an Orbo, O-R-B-O, Orbo, but with the magnets inside the, um, the coils. Now, what's different about mine is they normally have the coils um, like this, where they face the rotor. But my coils here are going with the rotor around like this so this is kind of a different configuration but it does work with Ben's idea of putting the magnet inside the uh, ferrite so anyway that's the um, the Thomas motor and uh, I thank Ben for uh, doing the work on that one thanks for watching